Good afternoon. I'm Jeremy Harrington. I'm Director of Experience for Benefits and Protection at Principal Financial Group. I have the great honor today to introduce Zachary Tempesta and Lightship Neuroscience. Over the past decade of partnership with Major League Baseball, the founding team at Lightship Neuroscience has developed and refined their cutting edge predictive neural analytics centered on brain performance. Now, partnering with auto insurers and commercial fleets, instead of front offices, Lightship is making the world safer, one driver at a time. Please help me welcome Zach Tempesta and Lightship Neuroscience. Hello. Everyone, thank you for coming. Is my mic on? Cool. Uh, so I'm one of the co-founders of Lightship Neuroscience. My name is Zachary Tempesta, coming from San Diego, California. And we are creating the neuroscience of safe driving, which is a proactive approach to a safer future. Our mission is to stop crashes and stop the loss of life on the road. We've had success, as Jeremy mentioned, in professional sports and in healthcare research. And now we're bringing our expertise and in technology into transportation safety. I need to click to the next slide. <laughs> so for me, this mission is personal. I've lost multiple family members on the road. And sadly, my family isn't the only family that has gone through this type of tragedy. At Lightship, it's personal for myself and my co-founders. My co-founders are Dr. Wesley Clapp and Dr. Brian Miller, both neuroscience PhDs. We've worked together for almost a decade now. Our journey really began in the labs at UCSF and UC Berkeley, matured in healthcare research, and really blossomed in Major League Baseball. Some of the baseball fans in the audience might recognize this film and best-selling book, Moneyball, which depicts the origins of sabermetrics in Major League Baseball. In the early 2000s, a number of innovative teams actually used advanced analytics to gain a significant competitive advantage. But eventually, the rest of the field caught up. Our technology came in in the post-Moneyball era. We introduced neuroscience-based analytics to improve player forecasting, player training, and on-field performance. We've worked in Major League Baseball for over a decade, and we've collected over 7,500 neural profiles of professional athletes. And now we're bringing our pioneering approach into commercial fleet safety. We're working with fleets, insurers, and fleet safety managers to stop crashes. So commercial fleets are experiencing a number of significant challenges, including the severe cost of just a single claim, an aging workforce, and crippling litigation. But the lion's share of this risk actually comes from a small population of drivers, which is currently hard to identify. Our neuroscience approach to safe driving starts by understanding the driver's neurological strengths and weaknesses. We can identify specific crash risks and develop a personalized safety program for that particular individual. This effectively safeguards their weaknesses and mitigates claims and exposure to litigation. The brain is heavily involved in safe driving, with over 70% of crashes caused by poor neurocognitive performance. And the driving landscape continues to change. The advent of smartphone technology and autonomous technology puts more pressure on our brain than ever. And distractions are taking new forms every single day. Commercial driving requires performance above and beyond everyday driving. So we are looking at fundamental brain functions that are required for safe driving. Things like decision making, reactivity, hazard recognition, situational awareness, and distracted driving. April is actually Distracted Driver Awareness Month. So this is really relevant here in April. Our technology can identify top performers and higher risk drivers in just 15 minutes on a smartphone, an iPad, or a laptop. We then target tools, trainings, and technologies for our higher risk drivers, and then reward our high performers. We want to get the best talent on the most dangerous halls. Our approach starts with a driver assessment. It's quick and it's engaging, 
and it's built with real-world dash cam footage. It outputs a driver safety guide personalized for that individual. And this only enhances existing safety technology like telematics, dash cams, electronic logging devices, and vehicle ADAS systems. There's an amazing safety infrastructure out there already. And what we're trying to do is funnel these targeted interventions specifically for individuals. So to illustrate the differences in neurocognitive performance, this is Jonathan and Matthew, and this is their baseline spatial attention. This was taken when they joined a new fleet. As you can see, Jonathan and Matthew look quite different. Who would you want driving next to you? Fortunately for Jonathan, his family, the fleet, the insurance carrier, and everyone else on the road, we could actually get Jonathan's profile looking much closer to Matthew. And if this doesn't hit home, I want you guys to all think about when you were a teenager and you were driving with a grandparent. I know when I used to drive with my grandpa Jim, sometimes it was uh, raise the heart heartbeat a little bit. Um, one time we were, my family and I were going to the airport and somehow we made it there with Grandpa Jim driving and God rest his soul, uh, we kissed the ground when we got there. But this is sort of like that visceral feeling of the differences amongst us. But back to John, how we can improve his safety is with a safety guide that depicts his overall risk, specific crash types that he might incur, follow-up training, optimum routes, and vehicle safety technology to safeguard his weaknesses. We're creating the neuroscience of safe driving, and we need your help. We're working with commercial insurers, fleet technology distributors, and medium to large size fleets. We're piloting our technology and looking to collaborate with transportation leaders. We are creating a safer future, and that takes everybody. At Lightship, it's personal for us, and we hope it's personal for you as well. Please come talk to me if you're interested. Let's protect our neighbors, our coworkers, our friends, and our family. And everybody drives safe. And I want to say thank you especially to the GIA and the GIS. It's been a wonderful program so far, and I'm excited to celebrate after this. But I'm also thrilled to be a part of the Des Moines community We've worked with a number of partners already here in Des Moines, and it's been an honor, and I'm looking forward to seeing what we continue to create. So thank you very much, and talk to me later if uh, you want to hear more. Take care.